Well, bam, y'all, and welcome back to Creator Spotlight, formerly known as YouTuber Spotlight, formerly known as YouTuber of the Week. Now, you're asking yourself two questions right now. I can already hear it. Uh, number one, Boogie Knight, why did you change the name of this project yet again? Well, I figure since um, a lot of the creators are using other platforms and avenues besides YouTube, so to advertise it as just a YouTuber Spotlight would seem counterproductive and uh, false advertising. <clears throat> and the second question is, why am I recording this in my kitchen as opposed to on the couch? <clears throat> well, simply put, the kitchen is the actual base of operation for my next creator spotlight, and I am so excited. This has been in the works for several weeks now, and with the excitement has also come quite a bit of nerves. <clears throat> but all in all, I am so excited because I think this creator deserves so much praise, so much attention because of all the amazingness that she does. And I'm talking about the fantastically talented Stacy Roy. And actually, to put myself in the right mindset, I actually had made... Eh, 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 so they don't fall over. Yep, these cookies spell wabam. See? So good, they're starting to fall over right there. I actually haven't had one just yet. I also made an SCIBC, that is Stacy Cocktail, is best cocktail, but I kind of drank it during earlier takes. Now what that actually is, is I figure since the SCIBC, that is the Stacy Chat is Best Chat, is sweet, sarcastic, and a little bit nutty, what I did was I had some cold brew coffee, I have a pitcher in my fridge, I also added chocolate syrup and a splash of heavy cream, or you can cheat and go to the grocery store and buy your own creamer of your desire. But for the nuttiness of it, um, I added a splash of almond extract, or if you want to go down the booze department, amaretto, um, or maybe even macadamia nut liqueur. So that should all just put you in the right mindset about how excited and how involved I am with trying to promote this spotlight on Stacy Roy. Now just for a little bit of background, Stacy Roy kind of started in YouTube back in, to consult my notes, 2012 and she's hit about 5,500 subscribers as I'm recording this. She also started on Twitch about a year ago <clears throat> and already has it upwards of almost 6,000 uh, subscribers that follow her on a regular basis and I just think that's really awesome for somebody who focuses on what she does. And I hope by the way I describe and promote who she is and how much I love watching her streams that will give you a chance and a reason to go over and watch her as well. Um, and as, as always, I will always put a link in the description down below to her YouTube page, her Twitch page, and her Twitter page. So get going and get started on that. Now, the reason I'm recording this in the kitchen is because Stacy Roy is an internet chef, and she focuses on uh, cooking with Stacy. She also does nerdy bartender and things like that. And I think that's the first thing that drew me in. I think I started watching Stacy. I'd probably say less than a month ago. Um, it was one of those recommendations on my. Um, on my Twitch, or no, my Twitter page, and I'm like, hmm, who is this? And I was just hooked instantly. I mean, I just, everything about her is wonderful and just fascinating, and it's one in a million that I really cannot put um, a comparison to. First of all, sh give me a show of hands about how many uh, internet shifts there are out there. Um, I can count on one hand the number of ones that I um, have heard of, and I can count on one finger the ones who actually fascinate me and have me continuing to want to come back more and more and more. And that is Stacy Roy. Um, and it's not just her YouTube stuff. I love watching her Twitch streams. That's the biggest thing that I enjoy doing. It's doing whether she's doing uh, Wines Day, which is just where she sits down um, on Wednesday, plays games with um, her fans and her viewers. Um, I love Nerdy Bartender because that focuses more on the drinking side of things. Because let's face it, on Friday you're going to want to have a drink or two or five or ten depending on how rough your day was. And she also has special guests that go on the show with her as well. And then on Sunday she does Cooking with Stacy. <clears throat> And this part is actually the really cool part because she also takes fan submissions. And I'm going to get into that later on. But she shows you how to cook things methodically. And she also gives you the ability to go, okay, I can alter, I can opt out on that, I can do that. And it's really fascinating what she does because I can take notes while I'm watching her cook on a particular dish or if she's making a, a particular drink with somebody on Nerdy Bartender. And it ties in, the themes always kind of tie into a little bit of a nerdiness, hence the title, Nerdy Bartender, but it's always so creative how she implements all sorts of different things, and I just, I love that about her. Um, and another thing that really just kind of wrote me in is her overall positivity and her enthusiasm into what she does, and you can see that when she cooks something. You can see that when she's mixing a drink with a special guest or just by herself. It's just, it, it's so positive and so engaging that you could be the biggest curmudgeon in the world, i.e. me before I've had my morning coffee, and you will walk away with a smile on your face. 
Um, I just think she's passionate. It's not fake like if you're watching somebody on YouTube or Twitch and they're just kind of going through the motions, but her enthusiasm and her ebulence, her bubbly personality is not to the point that it's annoying. It's that perfect balance of seriousness about what she does and positive energy and everything like that. And that is just something so rare in the content creator community, at least in my opinion. If there's not too many people that I can say have that great balance and that engagingness into her work and into her overall persona. And you see that on her Instagram when she posts certain things about it, if she's doing something about her food or if it's just something from day to day, like if she's working out or whatever like that. And she's got a great sense of humor too. It's, once again, not over the top. It's not stupid. It's not too serious, but it's the right amount. And that's what I really love about her a lot on top of her cooking and what she does. I, there's definitely been a couple of recipes of her that I didn't even think I would like, but just hearing her opinion on it wrote me in and I wrote down the recipes. Stacy, and I'm talking, of course, about your, uh, your Dorito uh, chicken nuggets. Those were amazing. Um, and also, another thing that is really awesome about what she does and who she is is her engagement with people who are viewing her, with people that follow her on Twitter. It's, it's so rare these days, and I talked about this so many times in other entries when I've showcased other people, but to have that connection of somebody that you feel that you're not just a number on their view list, you are a person of interest, you're even considered a friend of hers because of that, and she remembers something that you have told her, whether it's an inside joke, whether it's something that you've shared together <clears throat> on Twitter or on Twitch or anything like that, and then she encourages people to check out other creators. Um, and since I've started watching her stuff, I've started following other uh, people on Twitter. People have started following my channel on YouTube, whether or not it's just to see me record this remains to be seen. I'm just kidding. Um, and she talks to people. She answers their questions. She asks them questions back. Once again, give me a count about how many creators do that sort of thing. Particularly while they're doing something, if they have even a, like with a special guest or anything like that, even if it's her business partner, uh, Mike Parkerson, aka Bald Mike, or the million of other nicknames that follow him, um, she's quick to get back, even just to say, you know, hello Boogie Knight, hello Classic Mac, hello uh, Big Daddy BBA, thank you for watching my stream, or something like that. It's something so simple, it's the little things like that that are so amazing, even if she's burning oil or burning water, something like that. And in turn, those people engage each other, like now uh, Classic Mac, for example, he and I started becoming friendly on Twitter, and we started talking to each other on Twitch and things like that. But it all comes back down to Stacy and that overall sense of community. You want to you watch her streams because you want to watch her streams, not because you feel obligated because you're a subscriber or anything like that, and that spreads the warmth and that spreads it around. Um, and something else that she encourages that her fans and her subscribers and her viewers to do is for her Sunday brunch streams, she actually does contests where there's a certain theme that goes on, um, and she posts that during the week. It, for example, today's uh, ingredient was mac and cheese. Uh, last week it was waffles. The week before that, I don't know. I'm sure there's going to be a bacon one coming up, given how many times we were drooling over bacon. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Bacon is fantastic. Put bacon on the world. Um, <laughs> um, and then it gets them involved. And then they take pictures and they post it on uh, her Discord channel. And it's for anybody who wants to, you don't have to have some sort of tiered membership or anything like that. It's just general involvement. And then people can vote on those. And she actually gives away prizes to those people that actually win the fan submission, um, which is voted on by the other viewers on Twitch. It's not just her and Mike or any of her special guests or anything like that. It's by the community. And she does it at the end of her Sunday streams, or at least the ones I've seen. Um, but overall, just everything she does is positive, and it's been a personal inspiration to me um, because I love cooking. I grew up cooking. I mean, I grew up you know, stirring pots at my parents' knees or one Thanksgiving, or maybe it was Christmas, I forget what, when I totally screwed up my mom's whiskey sauce recipe by dumping pepper in. Sorry, Mom. Um, but, I mean, just in sh watching her streams encourages me to do even more um, cooking because I love what she does. I love how driven she is to produce a good recipe or to produce a good dish, no matter whether it's simple or complex. I, it inspires me to try my hand at tweaking more recipes or trying something new in general, to going down a completely different path. And I can't say that 
has happened very often for content creators that have inspired me to that point to work even harder. And she's also inspired me to be a better content creator, to uh, do more recording, to do better recording, not just me sitting on a couch and mumbling, um, but focus on the end goal and what I'm trying to get across to the viewers. So thank you so much, Stacey, for all you do. Thank you for the delicious recipes. Thank you for the funny bits with the BBA floating in the background um, when somebody subscribes or follows your channel. Thank you for having special guests over. And I hope when I'm on the West Coast, I can share one of those times. Yeah, that'd be a dream. It'd be a pipe dream, but it's still a dream to have a chance to cook or to mix a drink with her if I'm on the West Coast sometime. That'd be amazing. Um, but go check out our channel. You don't even have to be a culinarian or an epicurean or like something like that. It's just go over there and just see what goes into it. See, um, check out her positivity. Feel her action. See what the, every, the community has to say. See how involved they are. Something will come across to you that you will like, in my opinion. Um, I've rewatched a ton of her streams as well, not just for the information, because if I'm having a rough day, I can at least giggle a little bit like, <laughs> yeah, that, that was funny. Um, but anyways, as always, as I've said, I put a link in the description below to her Twitch page, um, which is where she does predominantly most of her recordings, um, her YouTube page where she does some of her recordings, and of course her Twitter page. Check her out, guys. I really encourage it. And I hope, Stacy. I hope that you find this an acceptable uh, recording. Um, once again, very excited and very nervous. But those cookies are calling my name right now, y'all. So I'm actually going to tap into those right now. So with that being said, guys, as always, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you on the flip side, all right? Peace.